What is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel now today we're gonna start something new here on the channel uh me and my girlfriend hayes have been dating now for uh over a year just a little bit over a year and uh we've been talking about doing something together on the channel for some time something that uh we can really bond over even more and uh have a little platform to talk about what we're talking about and today is the day hayes and i are starting a brand new podcast right here on the channel called the strange and unusual podcast say hello to the audience babe hello how you I'm doing i'm alive you're alive i myself am strange and unusual uh how you doing i'm doing good that's good you look good thank you you look good i like checking out the top of your head i know so it's funny the way this is being shot uh we are in studio right now and uh, the backgrounds for each of us look amazing. However, <laughs> it's a little hard for me to look at her and her to look at me because there's a giant ass monitor in the way. But this is literally the only way we could record it. We get both of us on a camera and stuff. It's a little tight in this office. It'll get better. Hopefully. We got this. Hopefully. Um, now, we're going to talk about a wide variety of things on the, on the show here. Uh, we could talk about paranormal stuff. We could talk about life. We can talk about anything, but I think a lot of it's going to be based on our adventures that, you know, a lot of the times we're on and just to talk about, I don't know, I guess a bunch of wide variety of things that we have in mind. I think, I know today uh, we're going to be talking about the it escape room in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada that we went through. Uh, and as you can tell, you're wearing your it t-shirt. Yep. I mean, Pennywise. you're, you're a big time, uh, it enthusiast you're a big it fan you're a big pennywise fan uh what did you think of it going into it i absolutely loved it and i cannot wait to go back uh chapter two just waiting for it waiting for chapter two yeah i know it's it's one of those things where um going through it it was interesting because like i knew it was gonna be an escape room but i didn't i didn't know it was gonna be on the level that it was if that makes any sense because like i i thought it was gonna be like yeah, because it was more than an escape room. Like, it was an escape room and an experience. Yeah, and it, it was like, we had a couple of minutes to do each room. I believe it was like 15 minutes of room or something like that. Yeah, I want to say about that long. And if we didn't figure it out, they kind of just gave it to us to move on because they wanted you to experience every single room up until the end. Yeah. Um, I know you start at the, uh, what was it? like? A we started in like a sewer, but I mean, we were a couple minutes late, you know, my fault, but... <laughs> no, we started. What was the first building we were in? I'm sorry. What was the first building that we were in where we had to sign the waiver and everything? Uh, one of, I want to say that was like the uh, like the city office or like the um, like the city town water something like yeah. water water district because it was all about the sewers and everything. Right. So uh, and then and then from that first room just kind of threw us in the damn sewers. Yeah, which was really fun. Um, you walk through like that little first room and then yeah when we first interacted we were in the sewers and yeah that was creepy that was creepy because it was one of those things where we're walking through there and i'm just like i for starters i didn't even want to go in first i was like you go first <laughs> i was like it's too it was too damn dark in the in the very first room we were gonna walk in but then it the light kind of illuminated a little bit into the sewers so that was cool yeah. I, had a, I had a really no that was that was a lot of fun i mean we, we i i felt like the puzzles at some points were challenge more some were more challenging than others but i think our group did a good job yeah. of kind of powering through that. And I, I, I kind of want to try to find that same group again when we go through chapter two. <laughs> that I would was be like, so hard, but yeah. It would, but I, I would hope they'd be the, the same enthusiastic and they plan a trip like yeah. we do. Uh, but we're going back to Vegas uh, August 6th through the 8th. Or maybe if there's any people that watch your channel that are in Vegas. Yeah. If you guys want to come know. through August 6th through the 8th, we're going to try to go on the 6th, with his, which is a Sunday. Uh, it's actually the day we're going to get in, but we're going to leave early so we can make our, our night for yeah. that. Uh, because I, we didn't know this, but they're only open Wednesday through Sunday. Yep. And it's funny because we planned our <laughs> trip Sunday through Tuesday. Specifically for the It Chapter Specifically 2. Specifically for It Chapter 2 because when we went to the first <laughs> one, um, we were told that Chapter 2 would be opening very soon. By the way, management, staff, all great. Um, yes, very interactive. Very interactive, very nice, especially uh, at the end. I remember we had a conversation with one of the managers 
uh, or one of the curators, I would say, of, of that event. Yeah. Um, and it was just, he was a nice person. Um, I know he's in a band. It's called Kissing Cadence, I believe it's called. Um, I've been hearing some of their stuff. It's kind of like, you know, that like metal and stuff, you know, that I stuff that I listen to and all that. I listen you to listen it to it too. Less. Yeah. And yeah. I, I also like uh, took some time to talk to a couple of the staff workers there and everybody seemed like really happy and really enthusiastic, like just to talk to you in general. Yeah, no, it was it was I, I had a great time. I mean, and then, I mean, going to room by room, I know I know as you and I were going through it, we were just kind of losing our shit of how. Yeah, I was detailed. It was, and I was everything. so happy. <laughs> it was. It was just good. I mean, it was cool to have that build up going towards the knee bolt house, and then going towards his lair and stuff. I mean, there was so much Easter eggs and so much like planning put into it and everything, and it was really cool. I, it got me really stoked for chapter two because I never. I remember after the experience, we kind of went to try to peek in to see what we could see from chapter yeah, two. Yeah, the the jade. Yeah, we saw the restaurant scene, so that's for sure going to be in there. We're excited yeah. for that. And then, I mean, going all around the building and just finding the different little, you know, decorations that they have on the walls and everything. Yeah, it was. That was, was a lot of fun. It but, was really cool. Uh, talking about the Neibolt house, that was probably my favorite. Like, as soon as that door opened and I seen that, I wanted to run for that balloon so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was blown away by how, how detailed that looked and how... how massively scaled it was it was like the facade within a facade kind of thing yes um and yeah that that house just looked gorgeous i remember going through to uh when they did horror Made here in in 2018 at wonder brothers uh they had like a scale of like the, the facade of the kneebolt house and just kind of seeing that one i was like this is fucking cool it'd be cool if honestly they lended it to them to kind of use it inside yeah, of the make it even bigger yeah to the maze and stuff which was really cool it, it, it really did feel like a maze though too like yeah it did because you had pennywise actually jumping out in some scenes which i thought was really cool yeah i was i was very like um what do you call it like hyped up for you because where you were when we were doing that first um puzzle yeah and he pops up and you were right there i was so like a little bit jealous, but, like, so happy for you that you got that experience of just, like, having him drop right there and just come out. I was like, yeah. oh, my God, this is great. <laughs> no, it was it was a fun time. I mean, I know that at, at some points the people that we were uh, – not the people that we were, but, like, the, the, the people that work there, I know at some points you could tell they were getting frustrated because maybe the, we were putting too much thought into the, the puzzle than what we should have been. But, yeah. <laughs> like, they were they were troopers, man. They, they hung in there. They would throw some hints at us every now and then and – I really enjoyed that that whole aspect of, of going through all that because that was now that was a lot of fun and it makes me excited for part two. Now, our plan is that if we can't if, if part two is not open yet, which it will we'll be very sad if it yeah. if it isn't when we go. But our plan is we do have a backup plan for uh, if we can't get to do part two, we're gonna do actually the saw escape room, which is actually put on by the same company uh, that put on the it one in Las Vegas. So. Yeah. Uh, they do that one and then the Blair Witch as well. So we're going to try to hit them all eventually. Uh, but if we can't do Chapter 2, but Chapter 2 is the real reason why we're going. Yeah. If we can't do Chapter 2, we're going to do the Saw Experience. And if for some reason we can't do the Saw Experience, then I guess we'll check out the Blair Witch. I mean, I I will say I'll check out anything these guys put on, to be honest with you. They're very... Uh, they Very, very detail-oriented. Very detailed, yeah. And, and it's just the, so much thought process put into it yeah. to really immerse you into the films and, and to be a part of that story so i'm excited to see like when chapter two comes around because that's going to be about the adults and everything and the, now you're going to go through their timeline with the yeah. adults and stuff that should be really cool it'll be interesting to see what they can put together and what scenes they decide to use from chapter two i'm i'm curious what's what's one scene you want to see the most from chapter two the, the restaurant but i mean i'm pretty sure they're not going to be able to bring the the bat wing fortune cookie to life because you know me that's my favorite absolute favorite thing from it you never know which i don't know why but bat wing fortune cookie that is my buddy you i never I, know I, will, I, I stay strong with bat wing fortune cookie hey you never know any bat wing fortune cookie merch out there i want it send it my way bat wing fortune <laughs> cookie merch no, I, I, I'm super stoked for, you know, uh, hopefully the one scene that I would love to see, which I, we've already kind of saw a preview of in the TikTok I sent you to go into the fun house, obviously. Yeah, that would be awesome. I'm curious to see if they're going to try to recreate that scene of him fucking eating the Slamming kid. Slamming in the window. Even if it's a fucking, like, a video monitor, I'd be <clears> cool <throat> with that, you know, just because, like, it would simulate the whole. I feel like they would do more of the slamming on the window because yeah. I feel like that would be more, um like more of a jump scare 
Yeah. To get him trying to bust through the window right bust there. Bust through the window, yeah. yeah. So that's one scene I want to see. Um, if they can pull it off, I'd love to see the fucking giant statue come to life. Paul Bunyan? Yeah. That was my second thing that I was going to say. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, that's like my second thing that is just, I love it. Yeah. I don't know why. It, probably because when I seen it when I was a little kid. Yeah. I'm like, Paul Bunyan is awesome. And then they had the bats flying out of his mouth and just him laughing so maniacally. I was like, that's great. I wonder if they're going to show like a spider version of Pennywise at the end. You would hate that. I would and I wouldn't. <laughs> I think it would look, yeah, yeah. I don't like spiders, but. I do hope they bring his like a uh, little, I, I don't know what you would necessarily. The baby version of him. No, I was going to say, like, uh, like his little lair, like, how they did the asteroid impact. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I really like how they had that, like, whole, like, evil cocoon cave type thing. Yeah. Yeah, that would be awesome. And it would be so, like, they could do that huge, and you could literally walk in there, like, how the Losers Club had to. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah. No, 100%. Um, I, I think that uh, there's a lot to look at as far as that goes, too, with this. There's a lot that you can that could that could so much more that could be in there too, especially with flashbacks and whatnot. They did they oh, yeah. do a lot of flashbacks in that movie. Um, I mean, there's a lot to look forward to, but I, I would say for now, like chapter one, uh, easy ten out of ten for me. Yeah, uh, highly recommend it. I don't think I've ever gotten the zoomies somewhere before. Yeah, yeah she was <laughs> running in circles around me with excitement. You were filming, I was and I was filming. just running underneath you. Just yeah. We were actually, I think it was at the end. Was that the end of the experience? That was, like, yeah, right before we took the pictures, uh, before we did the arcade stuff, though. Yeah. So I, I, I bought us the, the bundle with that one. So it was the experience, and then you get a free picture, and uh, the, you get, like, a $25, $25 game card. And I was like, that could be fun. She'll probably have some good time. We can have a good time with that arcade and stuff. Uh, it was really cool, like, even at the end, like, when you go into the gift shop, it's like, you have the gift shop on one side. You have the arcade on the other side. You have a picture area on the other side. Uh, then you have the cash register, the restrooms. And then in the, behind the merch area was actual uh, screen used props from the film that Warner Brothers actually uh, donated for the for the escape room. So that yeah, like was really cool. like a little tiny museum type thing. Yeah, it was yeah, really that. dope. I liked getting our picture, too, because they were nice enough to sit there and ask us, like, hey, do you guys want a picture in front of the doors? Yeah. And they, they actually let us take that picture, like, right there in front of the doors. That was really nice of them. Yeah. And those were, like, the screen used doors, too, so that's cool. Now, hopefully they'll get more props, too, for, you know, Chapter 2. Yeah, you could get, like, a lot of the adults' costumes and stuff. That'd be really cool. I'd be really down with that. I'm, I'm looking forward to Chapter 2, honestly. It's going to be a good time. Hopefully it's uh, it opens up by the time we get there. And um, from, like, driving around there, too, and just seeing how large it is, like, there's no building. telling what they can do with all that space. Yeah, they, they, even if they're, like ready to like years down the line to retire it there they can put something else brand new there yep be dope um swap it out different horror uh horror icons there's a couple of things that we still are have on our list to, in vegas to do I, I think we i think for the first trip for us we we overloaded so much stuff that i was like <laughs> we tried we just but we get overjoyed just being there you know yeah. what i mean it's not like we're it's not like we're just fucking trying to pack our days. Like, let's do this, this, and this. Like, it starts off with, yeah, let's do... Like, if we have ticketed items, obviously we know it's priority that we're going to do that. Yeah. But, like, if we're going to just go places, we're like, yeah, let's... Oh, but wait, let's go to the strip. Let's walk the strip. Fuck it, that's better. But, yeah, like, when we went to the It experience, we didn't expect to be there. I think we were there, like, a good four hours or something like that. Oh, easy, because when we got there, We only fucking... expected to be there for two. So... Yeah. <laughs> Because when we got there, well, that that was a fun day all, all in all. I mean, the, in the beginning of that day, we went to Area 15. Yeah, that was uh, fun. Which is a video you guys can watch right now on the channel. Um, but Hayes and I, I remember we walked through Area 15. Um, we got to play the little, we became employees. We got to play the game. Um, and we, we didn't get to finish the game only because, like, as we were wrapping it up, like, we were almost done. And the area we needed the most was, like, the smallest so area. And it was so packed. And we we're just like, yeah, we're going to go. <laughs> Check yeah, it we out. We gotta but go back though. No, there's and a lot of stuff that I want to see at Area 15, like that we could still go check out. I really want to try the zip line there, even though I'm afraid of zip lines. I like that zip line. It looks like it's a control line. <laughs> I'm down to it. Deal looks with cool. It, we it can looks do it fun. Again. Well, maybe I we'll like stop how by. It's like neon and all that stuff. So maybe we'll stop by when we go Vegas. If we have time. And I'm, I'm, I think that would be cool to do in my clown too. <laughs> <laughs> she, she really wants to walk around in her clown makeup. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, definitely for it chapter two. Though. Hayes is is incredibly talented, incredibly creative, and she has a uh, character clown character that she likes to bring to life uh, at 
pop up events. Um, sometimes Hayes she'll Mayor. do, yeah, the Hayes Mayor. Um, and sometimes she'll go and do guest spots at like local haunts and stuff. So uh, keep out for that. Uh, we're going to be going to Midsummer Scream pretty soon, in about two weeks. So you'll be painted up there for sure. Yeah, as much as I can, you know. Yeah. Trying to. Right. Well, as of this recording, it was two weeks whenever this gets released. We either already went or we're going to go or <laughs> I don't know. It's there. It's coming. We're doing it. It's there. If there's Midsummer Scream content on the channel right now, go ahead and, go ahead and enjoy it. Because uh, it was a lot of fun to film. It always is. It's definitely I, something I look forward to all year. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this year, you're, uh, well, last year she even was, was like super supportive and everything. Um, this year, she's you're going above and beyond. With, I try. Uh, I mean, she's even learned how to like start a recording and stuff with us. Like, if you see her usually with us, if you ever see us at the parks, like especially when we're doing haunt stuff or anything, like most of the time she'll have a camera in her hand now because she's just like she wants to get involved, she wants to learn and stuff, and it's just it's been incredible. I don't think anyone else that I've why well, I've you're like the second person I've dated when I've done nights of horror, but uh, no, it's incredible. Uh, and I trust her 100% now. Yeah, I just want to help out, you know. The more footage, the better, and yeah. get more monsters out there, and, you know. Yeah, I was talking, so we were going to, we're going to have, like, a big production meeting pretty soon with Nights of Horror. Um, but we were, we were kind of, me and Sammy were kind of roughly talking. I remember told, I told you about this, but we were roughly talking about what our weekend's going to look like as far as tech goes and stuff. And I, I still think to this day, 2019 was our, like, most fucking, like, brought tech that we ever brought to the thing like we bought we bought podcasting gear we were doing our own podcast outside of the convention center we had our cameras like we had we were deep in, in equipment um but i think this year sammy's right i think this year might top it off in, in our most productive production for midsummer scream that we've ever put on for this like we're going in four cameras deep like you and me are rocking a camera rob's gonna have a camera sammy's gonna have a camera we're going multiple panels yep. a lot of footage on the show floor a lot of footage in the hall of shadows like Trying it's, to get some extra monster footage and interactions. Yeah, I want to do. I kind of want to do some fun stuff this year too, and just kind of like, um, I don't know, just go up to random people and just ask them, like, just pull out some like fun horror trivia, and then like give them a sticker or something if they get it right. Okay. That could be fun. Just something special, like for some TikToks or something. Like, let's see how many people know their horror trivia at, at Midsummer Scream. <laughs> yeah. Kind of thing. That'd be fun. That would be. Let's put it for, like I said, TikTok content. We don't, we don't really, I want to start doing more with the TikTok. I know you're really good at, at doing that. I know you always offer. Well, I've been trying to get more back involved in TikTok and stuff like that. It's just, yeah, kind of, we need more things to go to in the haunt community. We need more year round stuff. Yeah. That's why I want to kind of, well, that's why, that's kind of the reason why I want to slowly go back to, if we can on the next Vegas trip, go back to area 15 and just film like a nice TikTok for that. Yeah, definitely. All the, all the stuff they have there and. Yeah. What not? Maybe we'll check out the Stranger Things. Well, we got we got the Stranger Things footage already. Oh yeah, I did. I did, did a video too. I think I tagged you in it for the TikTok. Yeah, you had also. You had some good social media TikToks. Throwing them on Instagram, I put up the video on the channel. Yeah, I always try to send them your way. Also. Yeah. Doing a good job, babe. I try. Thank you. Um, but yeah, there's a little, there's a couple things we got to still do in Vegas. And there was like a whole video my mom sent me this morning about more things of, for us to do in Vegas, and I'm like. Yeah, we gotta go to uh, Nightmare Cafe and Nightmare Toys. Yeah, we want to go see them. We really wanted to go to. Go see them eventually. Make our way to the Zach Bagans Haunted Museum. Yes, I know that's something you very much want to do. Yes, but when you're ready, we'll get there. I want to do it. I'm just I'm. (laughs) I have like I believe very much in the paranormal and all that stuff. So like I know the balance. Well, I know like actual like what good and evil is and stuff. Yeah, I mean I believe in it all too. Yeah, you do too. I'm just more kind of dabble it. in it a little bit more than you do. Yeah, I guess you would say. Yeah, she just, she'll she'll straight up like I'll be I'll come over to your house <laughs> after work and she'll straight up just be watching paranormal shit by herself sometimes. <laughs> I can't wait to go. We we need to go to the Queen Mary and do all that too soon. Because the Queen Mary is close to us. And yeah, we're we're gonna try to go to the Queen Mary and do some ghost hunting for you guys. Maybe do a, a video for that. I've been wanting to do a video for that ghost for a tour. while. Ghost tour, yeah. The only problem is I only bring so many batteries, so what if the ghosts just drain all my batteries and I just can't? No. <laughs> no, sucks. I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm not saying like, let's not do it. I'm just saying, like, we're fucked if, I, if that happens because I'm just be like, I can't record this whole thing and now I can't. <laughs> I think that we just got to bring up, ba- like, 
take so many batteries in with us and then bring backup batteries for the car. Backup batteries for the backup batteries. Yeah. Like three sets of batteries. Going in deep, yeah. <laughs> now, that could be a lot of fun. I'm down. I, I really want to. I know we, we've been talking about it for some time. I know you really oh, like yeah. the Queen Mary a lot. I, yeah. I like the Queen Mary, too. I love it. Even wore my um, Queen Mary shoes today. Yeah. She's a big Queen Mary fan. Dark Harbor, come back. Shacktoberfest all the way. Shacktoberfest is awesome, but... I hope Dark Harbor comes back one of these days. Maybe. I'm I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. Yes. The only Fingers, toes, body limbs. Dead Dark space. Dark Harbor, come back. Dark Harbor, come back, please. <laughs> um, I'm I'm super. So man, we got we got a busy we got a next busy few weeks. Then I mean, next week is my dad's birthday and your dad's birthday same weekend. Yep. Uh, my dad's birthday is on a Friday. Your dad's birthday is on a Sunday. Um, and then the weekend after that is Midsummer Scream. We got a stacked weekend with that alone. Oh uh, yeah. Sammy comes in 9 a.m. This folk, so we, we have a f- conversation. I'm like, well, I, I, should, I, I only asked him this because I was like, I need to know what this because I'm, I'm going to be the one picking him up, obviously. I come in. He goes, yeah, I'm coming at 9 a.m. I'm like, can I not ever sleep in? <laughs> like, I only ever sleep good when I'm at your house because I'm just fucking like, I don't, I don't know. Boy, it's got to be the mattress. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe it's because I stay up late, so you get to sleep in. I guess. Then I feel <laughs> bad when I wake up because then you're waking up early and you didn't get that much <laughs> sleep. Hey, we'll, we'll live. <laughs> Just got to deal with the grouchy girlfriend for a little bit until I get over it. Yeah. She was very grouchy at me this morning. All right, should I tell him or you? Huh? Should I tell him what happened or you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, you go for it. I went in the restroom this morning and had to use the restroom bad. <laughs> Number two. And she gets up. I was in there for a bit because when I go to the restroom, I got to go. And she was in there. And, or No, she wasn't in there. I was in there and she came out. She woke up. And she came to the bathroom and noticed the door was still locked. And then I didn't see her. Then when I went back, she had to go to the bathroom. And she came back. She was like, I was pissed at you. I'm like, what I do? And she goes... <laughs> You were in the bathroom. I had to pee. I was like, I had to go. It ain't my fault. And then I got over it like five minutes later. She did. She really did. It was done. I was like, this is stupid. But it's just grumpy me in the morning. Grumpy you in the morning. Exactly. It's all right. I even warned you. I was like, I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Yeah, she did. (laughs) Because I was like, is it my fault? She was like, undetermined. I'm like, what does that mean? (laughs) Undetermined. (laughs) <laughs> it was investigation still pending mental <laughs> mental brain waves blockage <laughs> anyway i don't know what that's got to do with our, our schedule for midsummer scream i don't know how that came up but it did <laughs> i don't know sometimes either. we just we just go off topic here but midsummer scream is going to be awesome regardless of how busy we are it's going to be fun i mean it always is i mean there's so many people that we get to see it's like a big family reunion we get to yeah. see so many people that we don't get to usually see throughout the year um, a lot of friends and, and come down, and we all hang out for the weekend. There's a lot of panels that we're looking forward to this week. And mini mazes. Yeah, uh, the 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 Hall of Shadows with some of the most yeah, iconic I, home haunts out there, huh? I totally missed that last year. Remember? Hall of Shadows. Yeah. Yeah. We, well, that's the good part is this year everything's gonna be on a Friday, so hopefully we could just knock it all out. Well, and this year we're rolling together, so it won't yeah. be. You know, I, there was a lot of confusion going on last year with things and. I, me taking forever to paint up, so you know that's why I said whatever I can paint up for this year, I will. But yeah, I know. I mean, it's I, more I, important to be there. <laughs> I, 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 I would really want you to paint out, if if anything, paint up mostly on Saturday, yeah. for sure, because there's gonna be a lot of people there. Um, yeah. But I know that. Uh, what was I gonna say? That it takes me a long time. <laughs> no, we already talked about it though. That, well, that's the cool thing about you is like a lot of. I know a lot of people in relationships would normally, like, the woman would get mad if, if I went off. It's like, for example, if I went off with Sammy in the morning, be like, hey, we're going to the convention, you know. It's not our way. She, like, legit, you always go, no, if I'm taking too long, just go ahead and go. Like, I'll, I'll yeah. meet up with you guys, you know. It's like, it's the same thing when we were in Vegas. She's like, if I'm doing my makeup, if I'm getting ready and you want to go swimming, just go down there and go ahead. And I was like, yeah, but I don't want to go by myself, so. Yeah. But it's okay. I think the next time I'll just do it because I'm like, it's going to be very fucking hot in Vegas. And uh, there's some areas on my body that still need tanning. So, you know, (laughs) 
Might as well take advantage of it. No, we're going to have a good time. I mean, Sammy's coming out uh, from the AZ. Uh, he's coming through. Uh, he's flying in Friday morning at 9. Him and I are going then going down to Knott's from uh, Long Beach Airport to uh, get our uh, IDs for Knott's Scary Farm, take our pictures, and then uh, find out about the parking extension. I know you're going to go the week before and yeah. or, or this week as of this recording. Figure that out. Um, which I'm super excited for too. Not scary farm. Not Again, scary farm. I gotta pass. say they pretty much worked their way all the way up to, you know, since Dark Harbor is not around, they were my number one for last year. So I'm just so happy that for the 50th they brought back the passes to the yeah, general public. I'm super stoked about that because now we can go a lot more instead of yeah. You know, I think we went something like I think I went six times last year and you went seven or something like that. Yeah. But uh, uh, that yeah, was hard financially. It, it was hard financially. <laughs> but it was, it was putting a hole in our wallets. It was worth it, though. Yeah. I, I have to say that much. Like, like I'll be honest with you. That's that's why I don't think we're getting frequent. Well, we're not. We're not getting frequent fear passes for Universal this year um, because we got we opted out and got the Knots one, which in reality, that's where we'd rather go than Universal in the sense because let's be honest, Universal is super far further away from both of us. and Definitely. Parking's going to kill us. You know, we don't have $30 to just throw out parking every now and then. And I live on character interactions. Yeah, and it's just fun to go. So (laughs) the hope is, I I remember in 2019, I was able to get the parking added to my pass. I'm hoping they do that again. I don't see why they wouldn't. It's a sale for them. Um, Let's hope. I think it was like 70 bucks the last time. That wouldn't even be bad, though, because, I mean, well, no, going you just three, gotta times, go, like, that three times, that pays for it. Yeah, so it's like, I, and we're going to go more than three. We're probably going to go at least once or twice a weekend. Yeah, hopefully. You know, because. Depending on what other things pop up and yeah. what other events are available to us. Yeah, so we're going to we're gonna try to hit, I want to try to hit more. I would like to return to Castle Dark. Uh, I've never should, been there. That one's fun, and I know they got a revamp last year, so I'd like to return there to try to get involved in that again. I think uh, they have sliders there, too, don't they? They do. They have a good so little cool. sliders there. I always there. love seeing sliders. Yeah, sliders are fun. That's another haunt we can go check out. Um, but I'm open. We're open to anything. So if anyone out there uh, wants to invite us out, I mean, we're open to coming to anything because we, we'd love to. You, exp- you, you don't do the extremes. Yes, I, I, I will <laughs> clarify. Nothing against them. I think they're doing amazing work. The ones that are doing it uh, right and fairly um, and doing it. It's okay. You just don't want to. You don't want to have any accidents. To be no flips out. Yeah, I, I, I just don't like to be guy. touched. And I feel like if I'm if I'm intimidated the wrong way, that I'm just gonna do something that I'm deeply gonna regret. And it's better that I just don't, because I got too much respect for what you guys do. And I'm so. more open for it, but it depends on what we're gonna encounter. But if you want to invite Knights of Horror out, I <laughs> will strap a GoPro to her, and she'll be more than willing to go and do it. I will be there probably behind the scenes and in the co- in this, like, camera room just so I can see where she's going and we can get a reaction of my reactions. As long as there's no animals. I think that's where I'm going to draw my line. There's no, going to be insects. No animals. There's going to be insects. I'm, t- I'm talking specifically 17 door. I might be okay with insects. Roaches. I might be okay with that. We'll see. Snakes. We'll see how I fare. No. They then I die. Yeah. Just a heart attack. You got to hold your breath on at one point. I won't be holding my breath. I'm just flatline. <laughs> no, I'm saying, I'm saying there's a one, there's one part where they dunk you underwater for like ten seconds. I think I'll be okay with that, though. You know me, I'm pretty durable when it comes to certain things. <laughs> pretty durable <laughs> when it comes to certain things. Yeah. Sounds like a Duracell commercial. <laughs> Duracell. Yeah. Remain no, I, durable. I used to like the Die Hard batteries more, just because it was funny. Oh man, <laughs> durable. But uh. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, anything like I, I, I'm just I'm not a big fan of the extreme haunt scene, but I do respect for what they do. Um, there's a, there are people, there's an audience for that, so yeah. good for them. Uh, that's cool. I yeah, but like we'll, we'll go through. I like to go through a lot of stuff. I like to check out a lot of things in Southern California. Uh, I love. I would eventually once I get more, as we get as we grow more in Nights of Horror, I would love to eventually go out of state. I know yeah, you would definitely. be the same way. I already have a few people that I've talked to, um, like, out of state in, Jesus, I want to say, like, three different states that have uh, said, you know, hey, if you're ever in this area, come check out our haunt and maybe even scare here for a night or something like that. Yeah, that'd be cool. I I would love to do it. It's just getting out, you know, so far. For me, I have a lot of responsibilities, my pets and whatnot, but, you know, we'll get there. I know we we will. will. 
maybe one day, one day we'll have to do like a cross country like motorhome trip. To, uh, that's what I thought Florida. about. That's what I thought about. And then uh, just hit all those places on the way out. Yeah, I think I think next year's big trip for us is uh, hopefully Florida. Um, hopefully, that's the plan. I want to go back to visit HHN for the opening weekend. Um, it would be my first time going. So. It'd be your first time, yeah. So it'd be a lot of fun. We can go out there for uh, those three nights and just go to the park during the day. And because I'd like to show you a lot of the Harry Potter stuff there too. I think. Oh yeah, really that would be a lot of fun too. Diagon Alley big and fan. Um, fucking. Uh, Hogsmeade, so yeah, I've seen a lot about it, but it would be awesome to go. You know, see yeah. the dragon, breathe fire. It's, that would be it's a whole experience. Trust me, baby, you're yeah. gonna love it. Yeah, I, I would. Well, we'll we can we'll spend a whole day just fucking <laughs> going through all the the Easter eggs and stuff, you know, before Horror Night starts, and then yeah, that'd be a lot of fun, draining but fun. I I you know what though, I will say this: it, I, the the only bad part I didn't like about it was the humidity, but yeah. like. Other than that, I I have so many great memories from my Florida trip. Like, get you one of those little uh, fans with the water yeah. attachment. Yeah, <laughs> I think just you would be love, drenched all day. I think you would love the Jason Bourne stunt show. That's that's fucking cool. Oh yeah, I love stunt shows. Yeah, I wanted to be a stunt driver when I was little. If the ET ride is still open, I think you'd have um, to get on that. I'm straight on ET. Why? <laughs> It's fun, Because I don't do the glowing finger. Man. But you're like in a little bicycle. I don't do it. No, me and him are like the same size. <laughs> He's a nice guy. <laughs> He's a nice alien. Even being nice and all. Okay, he still we'll do the we'll do the Men in Black one. What? They have a Men in Black ride. It's kind of similar to a Men in Black ride. The the movie Men in Black. Yeah, but it, you said a ride. Yeah. Oh. So it's like you're uh, you're. That sounds interesting. Yeah, so you're supposed to be going to like the World's Fair or something like that, mm -hmm. and then it changes to like a secret MIB headquarters, and then you end up getting recruited to do it, and at the end they like neuralize you, and like it never happened. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I used to love Men in Black. Yeah, it's cool. It's like a it's a shooter ride, so it's like you get a gun and then you shoot like, aliens. Like uh, Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, it's exact. It's all, It's exactly like that. Same ride system and everything. Perfect. Turn and all that. It's fun. <laughs> um, the Mummy ride was fun. Their their version of the Mummy was a lot more fun. I like their the way their version layout was. I don't know if I'd get on that, but you know oh we'll see. God. Yeah, I'll get on again. I like that. Just do it once. Probably. Um. The Jimmy Fallon ride, I didn't ride. Oh, I did ride that. It was okay. It was when, like Race Across New York. It was all right. Um, Florida Horror Nights. Jack is like, he's he's all year, right? Or not all year, but like that's his, that's their main. Well, no, it's Jack comes, Jack's like the, he's a, he's like a popular icon, mm -hmm. but he's not like the original icon. But he's not there like every year is what I mean? No, unless oh, they okay. bring him back. Like, Luckily, when I went, it was the 30th anniversary, so then they brought, like, all the iconic icons back. Yeah. So I got to see Jack. I got to see his brother, who they who his brother's Eddie. Oh, really? So the story behind Eddie was he was supposed to debut uh, in 2001, and then 9-11 happened. Oh. So they had to, like... That sucked. They, didn't, they never really debuted him. Yeah, because cause they, they didn't want to do yeah, that. They didn't want his brother to, like, you know, they didn't want that Have image coming off. Yeah, or rep, so. Whatever that word would be. So it was it was one of those things where like eventually like they had Easter eggs here of him and you see a little bit of sightings but then uh, for the 30th anniversary they finally gave him his own scare zone. Oh, that's cool. So then it was cool to see Jack and his brother standing next to each other. Like I actually got like footage of them standing next to each other. It's it's fucking amazing. I'm gonna have to find it. I think I I think I have it in one of my intros of something because I was watching something the other day and have you seen it? Yeah, I forgot I'll what it was, it. but. Because that, um, that sounds cool. Yeah, it was cool. I like if you Jack, watch, even though I've never seen him in person. Well, if you watch like, one of my, if you watch the Florida videos I put up a few years ago, um, I do one of just all the scares on the stuff. The only sucky part is that I can't film in the mazes over there. Yeah. They're very strict on that for some reason. Whereas Hollywood's like, yeah, go ahead, just no flash. And I'm like, you got it. Low light's a thing now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, our, our phone cameras are really good at low light, too. And then you yeah. got those new cameras. And no, they're be, set. They're, like, I'm going to, I think because... If all goes to plan, what we want to do for Horror Nights this year. Um, R.I.P. Yeah, we're, we're supposed to. We're trying to do the R.I.P. tour this year. And okay. we're going to obviously we're going to film that for you guys and stuff. Like I'll be filming it with my camera, but I'll probably have you work on like TikToks and stuff. Yeah, I'll definitely film stuff. I'm always make like a to bunch get, of small little TikToks for each little thing. I'm always trying to get whatever side you aren't filming. I'm trying to get the opposite side. Yeah. <laughs> Our brains are slowly clicking together like how Sammy and I do. But uh, we're getting there. It's uh I think we I think we're pretty good at that at this point. And sometimes though. just filming you filming things, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I just I I'm excited because I think with that you get to go inside like the prop warehouse and stuff, and like just that alone, I'm just like, yeah, the prop fun. warehouse was really cool. I I have a deep deep love for Universal Studios, just movie studios in general. I just wish they were more fair with their uh, writer's strike and their actor's strike, but you know that's a, oh, yeah. that's a conversation for another day. You know me, I always say that people should be accommodated fairly. Yeah. So, but that's why we love Rob at Nights of Horror. That's why we love Rob. We love Rob <laughs> dearly. Rob does a lot for us. And if I if I had the money to pay the man, I definitely would in a heartbeat. That's why I think uh, a tradition I started last year that I want to do. I want to continue every year. We're, we got two things coming up. I think one thing, but one thing for sure. But I want to start. It's like a two in one type almost thing. Well, I want to start like same topic, but two separate. What are you talking about? What you have coming up? Yeah. Um, I want to start like every year buying like, uh, like Saturday night buying everyone like dinner. Yeah. As like a thank you kind of. Yeah, like, I think we talked about that before. Yeah, like I did closer, that last year. I think we talked about it uh, a little after last year when we were talking about it and things yeah. that we'd like to do this year. Yeah, so I did that like last year. We went yeah. down to like a Mexican restaurant that was really delicious. And. Um, you know, I bought everybody as like a thank you. I'm like, oh yeah, here, like this is on me. Like I appreciate it. I wish I could pay you guys, but yeah, you know, this is the very least I can do. Um, so we did that. That was fun. Uh, but a tradition that we like to do every year that we are doing still, uh, we're gonna be giving away tickets. Uh, I think the contest already live, or if it already it already happened, but we like to give away tickets on Nights of Horror, and there's a reason behind that. It wasn't to get the attention of Midsummer Scream. It wasn't to get the attention of anyone in specific. I just know what it's like to be that kid who wants, wants to, to attend go. something and doesn't have the money to do it. Yeah. And so if I can gift two lucky people, which this is where I love Midsummer Scream in the sense because we've, we're, we've worked with them now for a few years and, and Rick West continues to want to come back on our show and I'm very thankful for that and whatnot. But the reason why I, I love working with Midsummer Scream so much is because out of the kindness of their hearts, they always throw in two gold bat passes and they don't have to do that. We always ever just yeah. ask Rick West just to do the announcement for him, us because we figure it, it'd be cool if it's official from the contest <laughs> announced from him. You know, he's one of the guys that helps put on Midsummer Scream. So, you know, we do it because, you know, out of the kindness of our hearts, we want to see two people go and have a good time. Yeah, you want to give back in a sense. Yeah, I mean, there was there's so many people in the community that are constantly watching our videos, supporting us, following us on social media. You and know, saying hi when they see us saying out there. Saying hi, buying the merch if they bought the merch. Like, yeah. there's so many people out there doing that that I want to I wanna give back when I can. I, I, you know, I'm, you know, a lot of things cost money and, you know, sometimes I can't. A lot of things we can't. save up for. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things we save up for, but, you know, I mean, that's the whole pr purpose of just what we're doing is, you know, we love what we do. This is a hobby for us. And yeah, well, we'd love to get paid to do this. Of course we yeah. would. I'd love to do this shit for full time, but until I can, you know, I got to work my job that I have and you got to work the job you have and, you know, we'll grow, we'll we're get growing. better. We're trying, uh, but we, we always like to give back to the community when, when, when we can. Yeah. Uh, cause I got big dreams and goals for this channel and, uh, when we get there, it's just a matter of, uh, just the time and, and how long it's going to take us to get there. But when we get there, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. Yep. See what happens. Just taking the steps. And then and after Rick West is also always so nice. Like every time you see him out in public or like anywhere. Yeah. yeah. No, you know, I, he's always like stopping you saying hi. I, I'm incredibly grateful for our friendship with, with him. And, you know, I, I hit him up a few weeks ago or about a week or two ago, this recording. I was like, you know, Hey, I know it's fucking mid July and I know <laughs> you're fucking insanely busy. I was like, I don't expect a podcast because you know, that might be out of the table because you are so busy, but we're going to do another contest giveaway and I'd like to you to be the announcement of it again. And then stuff. And then he was like, well, I still want to do a podcast. Like he's just, like, just been so busy with stuff. So I was like the fact that he, he'll made make time, time. Yeah. <laughs> and his schedule for that, like that really warmed my heart that he still wanted to do the show. Um, because we, like I said, we love having him on Sammy and I, uh, we love having him on. We're going to film with them tomorrow on the podcast. But if you guys are watching this it's probably already out, that's why I'm talking about it. But, I, I mean, I, I'm grateful for the relationships that we've had doing Nights of Horror, um, the people that we get to meet. I know I'm a little antisocial at times, uh, especially we like all I can be. Yeah, I get like really nervous when I talk to people sometimes. Um, 
because mainly what I think this is my this is the sense of how my nervousness works. I get nervous because I feel like I'm going to say something very stupid <laughs> and then people are going to remember me for that. And I'm just like, I don't know. Yeah. So like, I'm always careful what I say because I'm like, I don't want to say something stupid. And then people are like, yeah, that guy's an idiot. Yeah, I definitely feel that, especially with how much I fumble on words and stuff like that. Yeah. You know how it is. It's, it's not fun. <laughs> and I'm a klutz. So, you know, <laughs> I'm just kind of wobbling, <laughs> weaveling. Yeah. She fell like twice in Vegas <laughs> in the same night. Yeah. Same night. Both sides of the strip. Both sides of the strip. We were walking one sure way, she fell, walked the other way back, and she fell again. I, I want to like, make sure both sides of the street got love. Got love? From my from knee. From your knee? <laughs> that continues yes. to bother you to this day? Hey, I lost a rock that's been in there for like 20 years. <laughs> it was June 7th, 2023. Yeah. We were walking the strip. And then fucking all of a sudden. <laughs> no, it was the first <laughs> night that we got there. June 7th. Wasn't it? I thought we got there on the 6th. Yeah, so the next night would have been the 7th. Yeah, but it was the first night that we got there because we did the it escape room on the 7th. And my name oh, was that's already right. busted. We, walked, we only walked like half the strip that first night. Yeah. And then we walked like the full strip. The next night. Y'all ever want to do a workout? Go to Vegas, walk the strip from... We, we, we were staying at the Luxor, so that's one end of the strip. Yeah. And we walked all the way to Resort World, which is basically the other end of the strip. We didn't, even go to, we didn't even go to the Strat. No. But that's a little fun. bit further down, isn't it? Yeah. It was a lot of fun, though. It was a lot of fun. I'd definitely do it again. We are going to do it again, probably. It was, it was easy to do, too, because, like, there's so much to see and everything. Just bring walking shoes this time so you don't fall. Please. No promises. <laughs> but probably we'll bring flats. Flats. But flats. I like being close to your height. I know, but I'm I'd so rather short. you. <laughs> I'd rather you. I always tell her this. I'd rather her walk in comfort. Like, I'll drop down to you. Women know how it is. Yeah, I know. Especially if you have a tall boyfriend out there and you're, like, super short. Unless he tells you that he's into tennis shoes, then you're like, yeah, I want to wear high heels or platforms. Whatever you can be to do to be taller. You're lucky I don't get fucking stilts. That's I'd like for thing. us to have should, some matching. I should start asking tricks for stilts. Matching. Like, uh, stilt lessons. Stilt lessons. <laughs> matching checkered slip-ons. I want to be closer to his height. <laughs> No, we got something coming up that's going to be matching. Yeah, our new vans. Yeah. I was hoping you forgot about them. but No, I know. didn't forget about them, but after this I probably will. Who knows? No, they should be coming soon. So we're coming up on the four-week mark. Just in time before haunt season? Yep, just think- in time. Hopefully for Midsummer Scream because vans <sighs> usually ship things fairly quickly. So anybody looking to get custom shoes, out. I definitely highly suggest vans shoes. They make really good ones. I got my Dark Harbor ones from them. But. We're going to be decked out for fucking Midsummer Screen Weekend. I don't even think they know. No. Nah. And I'm debuting a new uh, jacket that you made. You got me made. Yes. That's going to be awesome. Uh, the new shoes. I'm going to wear a Knights of War t-shirt under. Yep. Fuck. Get, we need to get some Knights of War pants made next. Shit. You can. I probably on can. Your, on your site, you can do it. Yeah, it's true. That might be next in the works. I don't know. I think we gotta find a new a new cheaper site so we can. I don't. Yeah, I, I, I don't so. like the way I charge. I might go to T Public. I don't know what that is. But. It's another. It's like Teespring, but they lower lower prices. I think we need to go through who Tricks goes through. Tricks has a really. I good know. Person, I just. I gotta put the money aside. We'll get there. Yeah, I think after haunt season, that's something we'll focus on. Yeah. Start getting our own inventory going. And then I think next year, we should really plan on doing some limited midsummer merch. Yeah, I want to do a collab with Tricks where People it's like people tell you tell him tell tell Knights of Horror what you think about that. Yeah, <laughs> what do you guys think about that limited runs on merch? Like limited to only Midsummer Scream. Like hit him up beforehand, purchase, meet up. You know, whole spiel. I never made a character appreciation on 2023 T-shirt or 2022 T-shirt. I should have. We talked about it. I know we did. I just never. You told me you had a plan and everything. I did. I just never. I don't. I think. <laughs> what I think happened is it didn't work nearly as good as it did the first year I did it. The okay. names weren't just coming out as good as I thought they were going to come out. Well, I have a total idea for you for this year coming out. But. And that idea is. You, you want me to tell everybody? Like. <laughs> you, you don't want any uh, previous knowledge? You, you just want me to. All right. Um, so you know how you do your YouTube clips? Yeah. Like with the scare actor? Yeah. So I was saying like um, 
like to do your scare actor appreciation month like the logo and then the year and then underneath kind of do them like staggered like the the thumbnails almost so like each monster is debuted on it and then put like maybe where they came from or like you know a little bit of their info so you're throwing yourself out there and then you're also throwing them some extra you know some extra shout outs she's just full of plans you guys what's that so she's just full of plans you guys I have a very creative mind, and sometimes thoughts keep me up at night, and yeah. Like and I got Orton. with you, and whole more New plans and ideas, up. and yeah. I was going to tell you that for this year, but I was too nervous, too, because I was like, no, we just got together. No. <laughs> <clears throat> I was like, I should not start giving my input on random things. One of a kind right here. Yeah. My dad got me this made, though, for just because. Yeah, we were talking about that, too, doing more one-of-a-kind items. For giveaway. Yeah. Or maybe for, like, we can do some stuff for Midsummer Scream, too. Like, find you at Midsummer Scream. Well, we got it. We already got that plan, remember? We That's why we made the... We, so we made new stickers. Oh, yes. I did. I forgot about the stickers. I made... I got kinda. her and I sticker. So not only are we going to have new business cards for Midsummer Scream, yeah, we made some new business cards, too. Yeah. I got you business cards. You got me stickers. Yeah, she got me Very some new business cool cards. Trade. Yeah. Uh, I bought her some stickers. So we're going to have stickers uh, and new business cards to give out from each of us. And we'll both have each other's stuff. So yeah. if you find me, uh, I'll give you one of her cards, one of her stickers, as long as with, uh, as well as our stuff. If you find her, she'll do the same thing. Yeah. Um, but more than likely, we're probably going to be together pretty much the majority of the weekend. 95% sure we're going to be together. The other, like, 5% is, like, something else if, if a panel pops up that you really want to see or yeah or maybe if you're busy or you know something yeah. yeah we're pretty good about switching off with each other and letting 100 percent figuring things out so to speak 100 percent. now we did have a different first episode in mind when we when we were brainstorming this first episode but i i figured what great way to start the first episode out without you know just jumping into that escape room Review. Something we did together also. Yeah, it was something that we did together. We, we celebrated our one-year anniversary about a month earlier in, in Vegas because uh, at the time when we were booking the trip, July had uh, really no availability for some comp rooms that we wanted. Yeah. So we just ended up opting out to just go in June. And now we're going back in August. Um, so I'm excited for that. So we did a month before and then we'll do a month after. Yeah. Just to kind of uh, <laughs> wrap up that cycle. But it's it's going to be cool because, like... Maybe that should be our new one-year thing. Instead of doing something on our year, <laughs> whatever yeah. year it is, do it a month before and then a month after. <laughs> yeah, essentially. But it was cool because, like, we did the Luxor. Now we're... And I told her, like, you know, Luxor was good and all. I want to just... I, I've, I haven't really been to Vegas. That was, like, the first Vegas trip that I actually had since becoming of age to gamble and full-on drink and everything. Um, so like to have that experience and share that with her was, was very, very fortunate in my life. Um, and to do, get to do it again, I told her, I was like, I'd eventually like to stay at all the different hotels to kind of get an idea and an opinion for myself to see what I like and I don't like, you know, I mean, even if we have to stay at like ones, I know you've already told me that you wouldn't stay at, but I was like, if I could just do like one night just to see what, you know, maybe things have changed maybe, you know, yeah. just so I get an opinion of what I like, what I don't like, what, what, what what we can afford cheaply and where we can stay at cheaply that we know is like, okay, this is a decent hotel for cheap. And Luxor was good. Don't get me wrong. I think I just got a little over the the elevator after a while, but you know, it is. <laughs> yeah. What it well, is. I haven't stayed in the pyramid too many times. So yeah, we were the just really nice. lucky at the suite that we got for the price we got it at. So. Yeah. That was a good suite. We had a really nice room. Um, and we got to try to stay at a uh, Mirage before they change it to hard rock. Hard rock. It's going to become the hard rock now. I believe that's what they said. Yeah, the Hard Rock Casino. That's the one with the giant guitar, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think I that's going to go so. with the gyrosphere too, right? A what? The big the big ball, the sphere. I thought that was off the strip. No, that's behind uh, a few of the casinos. What's that? That's behind, like, a few of the casinos. It's in the area of Las Vegas Boulevard. It's not on Las Vegas Boulevard, but... You could see it from behind. Like, okay. you could see it from multiple multiple. Well, no, Mirage is literally going to be, um, like, turned into Hard Rock. Like, there will be no Mir Mirage here. Is that that's the one right next to Luxor? Uh, no. No, that was Mandalay Bay. 
There was Mandalay Bay, Excalibur, and New York, New York. Yeah. Yeah, so this time we're staying at Park MGM. Uh, Ma- uh, Mirage was the one with the volcano. The, gotcha. The show that we missed. Yes. i got to try to catch that this time. Yeah, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I, I, this time we're staying at Park MGM. That's a more newer hotel. If anybody has any suggestions for the Italy that's there. Yeah, we, we're curious. I mean, we kind of scrolled through it last time, and we didn't necessarily see things that caught our attention, but that's because we kind of just rushed browse through it. And we don't know much about Italian, like... Aside from pastas and stuff, I don't know much about Italian food. Yeah, so. I just know really like pasta and yeah, I know pizza. And, and I mean pasta when it's hot. I don't feel like that's a good combo. Yeah, <laughs> for real. But uh, yeah, we you mean you like to really watch Travel Ruby for that? That's uh, it's the one you got me into on the YouTube's. And Travel Ruby gives me all my answers. She does. Hundred dollar buffet. Aside from the dog one, no dog video. She, she probably doesn't have dogs. Maybe. Borrow a dog. I know. But she doesn't have dogs. Why is she going to worry about pet things? For people like me. <laughs> they want to bring their dog. Well, why don't you request it then? I did. Get more people to request it. That's on my to-do list. People go request. Travel Ruby. Dog video. <laughs> <laughs> pet friendly yes, hotels. Yes, pet friendly uh, hotels and e- e- uh, eateries. Eateries. It was there. We I didn't want to say Italy again. We just got our dog um, uh, emotional ESA support. Certified. Emotional support animal now. Not a service animal, emotional support. There's a difference. Yes. Big difference. Big difference. Uh, but we are going to try to work on training him down the road. To become a hopefully a service dog, we just got to train him to do something of service to someone. So, well, hopefully he'll be pulling my mom in a wheelchair because she needs that. <laughs> yeah, probably get a little wheelchair and have him train him to start pulling her and calmly and commands when to stop and. Yeah. But no, I think that'll give thank her. Thank God a lot you less have a big anxi- driveway, huh? Yeah, I think that'll give her a lot less anxiety going to Disneyland too. You know what'd be cool too is like, we it can also train him with his boots on. We can put his vest on his harness and then kind of he can roll with it see how it works but it's gonna take a lot of training for that to happen we'll get there he's a smart boy yeah he's getting he's he's pretty smart he's he's listens he's good we were gonna bring him to midsummer scream but uh we're still working on that hopefully we can we got him we got him certified um i just need to talk to people at midsummer scream to make sure it's okay Uh, i know when trouble yeah so we don't get in trouble or anything um but we have him certified we have his license and everything um we're just waiting on uh because i know you said you called um, Long Beach Convention Center, and they just told you to talk to Midsummer Scream. It's their rules, so um, I'm gonna. Yeah, I just to really don't want to wait until that day to. Be yeah, like, yeah. Hey, what's so going on? So <laughs> I'm gonna talk to Rick West about it when we do our podcast with him um, yeah, beforehand, no just to kind of get a get an idea of it. Um, but yeah. So yeah, again, we did have a first episode uh, planned differently. We were gonna play actually a little game that we might say for the next episode, which was we were gonna put all of 2022's mazes that. The event we went, all the events that we went to, and we were gonna draw from the hat and then play a game and go back and forth to see who was, who had the best maze. Of, what was the best maze of 2022 uh, out of just a random hat draw? So we'll save that for next week, maybe unless another announcement comes. I know Horn Ice has been announcing stuff again. So well, I think the next time we'll probably have announcements from Midsummer Scream. Yeah, we'll part. Well, because next well, week we're, we're filming, gonna be mad busy. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna. So let's not even. We don't even know we're going to do an episode. <laughs> we might do an episode. Maybe we can do one at a, like a quick filming at a midsummer screen. Yeah, something. Or in the hotel or something. You know. Yeah. You can bring the uh, the Yeti mic and just set that up and put the gain up all the way. and Yeah, all right. Have Sammy on as guest. We'll figure it out. Do something. Um, but uh, I think we could probably do one in Vegas, too. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Do one in Vegas would be fun. Right in our hotel room or something. We have, like a, we have, like, a view. We could do it right in front of the view, set up the camera. Yeah. I'm going to try to do more of, like, a uh, like a vlog-style TikTok next time, too. And just, like, fun. what we're doing. Yeah. Where we're at. Where yeah. we went. I, I get so anti-social vlogging in public. Only because, like, I feel like, especially... I'm not going to do, like, the, like, whole, like, this no, is where I know. we are. No, I'm I just going to be, like, like I, a, I'm saying, like, I would like to do more like that. But, like... You know how people can act in public. They're like, oh, what are you doing, Cordy? And they act stupid. And some people, not all people are like that. 
Well, I let them do that to this face. <laughs> you know how people are with my face. They're like, oh, yep, we don't want no part of that. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't. I try to be nice. Yeah, she, she's a very nice person. I guess they just think that I'm always going to eat their faces, you know. Haze Mare. Now you're just going too far, huh? Haze Mare. You kill one guy. One yes. stupid guy that nobody cares about. That's a little depressing. Just the one. <laughs> just the one. Until the uh, second one comes along. Uh, where can they find you on social media, babe? Uh, at Hazemare333. On Instagram. On Instagram and TikTok? Yeah, I think so. I think Instagram and TikTok are the same. TikTok. I try to keep it the same. Hazemare333 on as much stuff as I can. Or just Hazemare. I still have the footage of you uh, from Hall- from Art Sideshow that I want to put up on the channel, too. Yeah, that'll be fun. Like a tour with Haze kind of thing. We still have the bone reading footage. Yeah, I put that. that I'm gonna cool. I'm gonna give that, that to you fun. so you can put that on your your Instagram page. And the TikTok. The TikTok, yeah. Big shout out to the Bone Reader. You can cut it up however you want to, and if you want to put the full thing, it's up to you. Yeah. Put it. In I parts. hope she's back. I hope they gave her a better spot this time. Well, that was season screamings, and the only reason yeah. that was like that was because they were doing the Krampus. But I still hope she's back because yeah. you know, I know this is midsummer. They need to hook them up with like little tents. Yeah, that would be cool. That way they have some privacy a little bit, too, you know? Have some nice dim lights. That would be, like, some extra ambiance, too. Good ambiance, yeah. Maybe fit, like, about anywhere from four to five people max, you know? Yeah. That was kind of how, like, uh, like, not to ruin it, but that's a little bit how Black Mass had it. Yeah. Because they had a small viewing section. Well, no, I wouldn't have ruined it because, you know, remember they were going to let me film, so. Yeah, that's what I mean by not to ruin anything. They had a small viewing section. Yeah. We'll see what if they have something going on this year, too. I know Saw's for sure doing something, so we'll check that out. You said Saw is doing something? Like the movie Saw? Yeah. Yeah, they're bringing, like, a little... I think they're bringing... I know they're having a panel, but I think they're doing a little uh, experience, too, to advertise the movie, because mm-hmm. Saw 10 just coming out in October. That could be cool. Yeah. You know I'm down to do stuff like that. I think this is supposed to be the final Saw movie, too. As long as it's not an Oculus thing, because I don't like the... I don't know what it is. I hope it's not. I hope it's like a physical like experience. Yeah, I don't like the VRs. It would be cool if they kind of if for like if the, if this is going to be the last Saw movie, it'd be cool if they did something like related, throw it back to the first Saw movie where it's like in the bathroom. That would be That'd dope. I think that's uh, what they have going on in the escape room, though. So I don't know. Oh yeah. Well, no, that's just. I think that's just iconic. That's why. You're, I oh, think okay. they take you through a lot of the iconic scenes because I, I did thought see they some, were partnered. Well, yeah, they are. They're oh. partnered. They partnered with Lionsgate to to do those movies. Uh, to bring him to his escape room. But what they did, too, is they took a lot of the iconic... Like, I saw a lot of stuff from Saw 2 in there, which is one of my... That's my favorite Saw movie. Because that was when they actually started getting, like, a group of people, and that's where we met Amanda, and they did those games and yeah. stuff. Like, that was a good Saw movie. Yeah. Saw 1 is great, too. I mean, James Wan did that, so... Did you know that? What? James Wan did that? Yeah. I do. And then uh, he did, like, a little... He played one of the detectives or something like that in the movie, didn't he? Him and uh, Leigh Wydell, they both produced. He produced. I think he helped produce that with James Wan too. Yeah, I think so. I think Leigh Wydell is in Saw. Not hundred percent, because you know how I am with names. But yeah, that's James Wan. I did specs. remember. Oh yeah, yeah, he was in there too. Yeah, he's like the main guy, isn't he? Like one uh, of the guy in the blue was, shirt. Huh? He's like one of the guys chained up, isn't he? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I think he's. Uh, I think his name was Josh. Yeah. I feel like they were like friends Some in college. Some details escape me. <laughs> and they just kept making movies together. Yeah. But I love Lee Wydell, uh, Lee Wydell and James Wan. Man, those guys sound like Great movies. Since Sidious Thread Door wasn't bad, to be honest with you. I enjoyed it a lot. I did. I thought it was, thought it was really fun. And those cute. Those, when we went to go see it, those people that were sitting a little ways down from us, they were, they were great. <laughs> oh, man. That was a great theater. It was a great theater. <laughs> You can find me on social media at the Knights of Horror at on Thread, TikTok, and Instagram, uh, as well as Knights of Horror on Twitter, and Knights of Horror Gaming on Kick. You can find us right here on YouTube. Subscribe, hit that bell notification be every time I put up a new video. And uh, you two are strange and unusual. You just don't know it yet. Go be new, unique. Huh? Say so go be unique. Go be unique. I like that. We'll see you guys real soon for another episode of Strange Unusual Podcast. Let us know what you guys think feedback-wise. Please. Love to hear you guys' thoughts, what you guys want to see us do. And we'll uh, see you guys real soon.